Today we are going to be producing very high, very clean normal maps. Okay. Now a normal map is something that is based upon tangent space and the scan distance of normals. Okay, so let me kind of fill you in what that means for uh, the people that have uh, very little experience with normal maps and might be just getting into this. So in Blender, I'll just hit A in edit mode and then go in here and turn on normals. Now if I hit N on the keyboard, I get this magical menu and I can turn on face normals. Face normals should be facing out and in some cases they could be facing in depending upon what your actual intentions are. Let's pretend in this world we're going to be looking at outward facing normals. Okay, so these blue lines represent normals and this normal is uh, the scan distance between the actual face and the tip of the normal. Okay, And that normal size right here is 0.24. That's kind of important. We're going to be using these numbers later on and this is a great way to actually figure out how much of a change is involved. Take for instance, I have this object and I have its one with a very high fidelity type of change. So high fidelity means that the original surface was flat okay, and its scan distance is really great. Um, a different kind of take on this is if I go into Photoshop real quick and show you that this is a low fidelity. So if I was to look down the surface and I'm not see too much change between the lowest and highest peak, that's low fidelity. Uh, this I have a change between the lowest and highest peak, that's high fidelity. High fidelity is a little bit harder to produce in clean results. Another thing is there's only so much you can do with a normal map. Uh, I see a lot of students try to pull off just super amazing stuff like you know like they try to make something like this <laughs> which that should be displaced by geometry so there's a couple other variations that you might add to a normal map and they're called parallax and displacement so displacement will actually displace the geometry based upon the map okay and parallax mapping will greatly fool the light into thinking that there is more of a change. So it's kind of like a super normal map. It's a cross between a normal map and a displacement map. It, but it still fools the light. It doesn't actually displace geometry. In video games we have, um, in some cases we have the video game working on a displacement. Very rarely. Uh, I see more parallax mapping involved than displacement mapping because displacement actually has to calculate the mesh to change in some manner. So it would go in this area and add more polygons and then put the scan distance out. Uh, parallax mapping, yeah, just a fooling of light. So there's very little calculation involved there well, compared to the displacement map. So what we're going to be doing is looking at this and a couple things that you should know. Uh, let's say I took a, just a regular box here. Well, I can just turn this one inside out. If I turn this geometry inside out, you'll see that the normals now face in, inward facing geometry and producing maps are not a good combination. So if we recalculate the normals, you'll find that they, they do a nice job of fixing themselves in Blender. There's also flip direction. And in ZBrush, there is also a flip direction located down here where if we bring it in and the normals are already flipped, we can flip them this way. If you can see through a mesh, you'll know that the, the normals are in the wrong direction. So it might look like uh, this in one program, but when you bring it into uh, another program, let's say I flip these real quick and I just export these the way for an object and flip them into my directory. Okay. 
and then I'll just open that in another program. So it looks good in there in Blender, right? Because Blender understands two-sided but when you bring it into another program that doesn't understand two-sided, unless you turn something on, your mesh might look like this. Okay, So this is, is a good indication of flipped normals. Now, as I said, there is the ability to fool it by hitting double, and I can now see it. But I would say that's a quick fix that should never happen. Um, unless you're designing a mesh to hold... Uh, detail on both sides is a single plane this would be good not too good when it comes to actually 3d geometry however because you're always going to produce very bad maps with um, inverted geometry so I can flip them here and everything is right in the world again all right so there's our terminology lesson for today now let's go into actual production